it is time for another nostalgia episode once again and we are back to all three of these nice laptops and on this flash drive here i have a windows to go install of the latest version of windows 11. in this case it's 23h2 so i want to put it up against some old hardware to see if Windows to go, Windows 11 can run. First contestant, this Acer Travelmate 2303 LCI. It has an Intel Celeron 340 processor, 400 megahertz. Max speeds of 1.5 gigahertz. Uh, the hard drive in this is 40 gigabytes. However, unfortunately, it... Uh, Unfortunately, the hard drive failed. It has, of course, a DVD drive, 256 megs of RAM. And, of course, it comes with my childhood OS, Windows XP. Now, considering this is a 2004 computer and this is a, a 3.0 flash drive, I don't know how well it's going to detect it. But we're going to find out. So, can it run Windows 11? Let's see. We're going to go into power it on. Yeah, the power button stop. Let's see. What's the boot key on this? Escape. Oh, F2 to enter setup. So, yeah, the battery died. Let's see. The boot order on this is hard drive, CD-ROM, floppy device, and network boot. So, yeah, this is an old BIOS, so unfortunately... This cannot run, so. Next contestant, the Lenovo ThinkPad Edge E545 that we installed the Lenovo copy of Windows 7 on a few episodes ago. I'm actually considering moving this laptop up into my office. Uh, however, I need to put a more supported operating system onto it. More particularly, I could do Windows 10 just do a clean upgrade from Windows 8.1. However, unfortunately, I'm unable to do that because Microsoft finally closed the free upgrade path for Windows 7 and 8 to Windows 10. But can it run Windows 11? Let's find out. So enter will be the key to interrupt the startup. And we want F12 for boot device. And it has detected it. Will it boot? There's the Windows 11 logo. There's the spinning wheel. All right, so we have been on this screen for, I believe about five minutes. And it looks like Windows 11 does not seem to be starting. So, I'm going to say that is a fail. Next contestant, the Dell Inspiron 5520. Incredibly enough, this has a solid state drive. So, it kind of is capable of running Windows 11 now that I think about it. So, we're going to need to restart. Okay, so, with the power of a solid state drive. Will it boot? Skip just checking, press any key within five seconds. So it looks like we got a disk check message. And it wants to check again. I don't know why it wants to check multiple disks. Okay, now the disk check message is gone. Looks like we may be getting somewhere. So this may be a good sign. Because now all we have is just the spinning wheel now this is running off of a flash drive too which is why it's called windows to go man 2012 hardware being put to the test all right it has been about an hour and it has been spending all that time preparing devices and i believe it's just about ready to restart because i see the either it's about to restart or load into the desktop but you know what? I think this is the farthest that I'm able to get this to go. So, yeah, I think I'm just gonna 
end it there. Oh, never mind. It's restarting. We have a cursor. So the machine did end up restarting as it stated. However, the machine is no longer detecting this flash drive. Well, I can still plug it in at all and it'll detect it. However, it is no longer being detected in the BIOS. So in the next episode, either we'll install Tiny 11, which is a slimmed down variant of Windows 11, removing all of the bloatware apps and the TPM 2.0 secure boot requirement, or Rectify 11, which is Windows 11 the way it was meant to be. And it will be installed on this computer, replacing this counterfeit copy of Windows 7 Professional, which we did try with the server experiment a while back. And then we're going to have to do the whole process of installing all the drivers and everything all over again. But we'll see. But until then, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.